Yo, what's up? This is Christopher. Today we're going to look at Taskful. Now, Taskful is a universal iOS application, which means it will work on both the iPhone as well as the iPad, and I believe even the iPod Touch if you're still using one of those. Now, Taskful is $1.99 in the App Store. Of course, I'll have a link in the description if you're interested in checking it out. So Taskful is a smart to-do list manager. It's also uh, very minimalistic in terms of design. So let's go ahead and open up Taskful. So as you can see right here, I have a couple tasks on board, and then I have some waiting in upcoming right here. I can go ahead and tap on that. It'll open it up, and it'll show you some of the tasks that I have set. Now, I want to mention, I only use Taskful on my iPad, but it has some really cool features in the iPhone version as well. I do have it installed, but I mostly got this to use on my iPad. But uh, when I say minimalistic, I mean, you can just look at the overall like interface right here, and you'll notice that it's very colorful, but there's just not much to it. Up here in the top left, you have the all task task categories that you have. And if you swipe, then you'll notice that you have settings, and you'll notice you only have two. <laughs> task sorting, you can either view your task by reminder or by category, and then you have dark mode on or off. So let me show you the on mode real quick. Come over here and just show you that's what it looks like in dark mode. And then go back over here. And I actually like the uh, light mode or white mode or whatever you want to call that. But that's basically it. Now, you can come over here to your all task. So as an example, right here where it says YouTube. Now, that used to be uh, charity. So I don't have like any charity tasks that I'm working on. So you can change the name by clicking the little three dots right here. So as an example, I don't need school. So I'll come up here and I'm going to rename school. And I'm just going to do this. Let's just say workout. Just even though it has health already up there. Oh, you know what? Actually, let me get a capital W. So, and then now I have a workout, and then they are color coat. They will be color coordinated with yellow. And what I mean by that, if you come over here, you'll see like this review of the leather Fitbit band is brown. That is my work. And then right here, my to do's, and that's read a song of ice and fire, book five. I had to finish that. And or actually, I've already read it, doing it again. But uh, if I tap like show upcoming task, um, so some of these reviews right here are for YouTube and they would be pink. Like if I were to tap one, let's come over here to YouTube to show you real quick uh, upcoming task. So there's my iPad Pro review that is upcoming for YouTube. So let's go back to the all task view. All right, to create a new reminder, you're just simply going to press the plus symbol down here. That'll open up. You could type what you want to do today. You can go ahead and type something right here in the type something area. So you have a start day, a finish day, and then you have the type. So you can do a repeating reminder, a reminder, or a to-do. So if you want to add something to your to-do list, you could do you know a to-do. If you want a reminder, you could say, hey, right now it is 1.13 p.m. I need a reminder at 2.30 to call you know my client Joe below and I will call him at 2.30 so I can set that as a reminder and it'll go off like you know I'll get a message or notification saying hey you need to call Joe below. Um, a repeating reminder would be uh, maybe you uh, have to you know call someone every Friday or something at you know 1 p.m. for the next four weeks so you could set a repeating reminder and it will continue to do that on whatever day you set or you know Friday at whatever time that you set that as. So one thing I can do is I can come up here and I'm just going to type review. And I spelled that wrong, did I not? <laughs> of course. And I'm just going to say taskful. And this is actually a YouTube task. So I'll tap to do. And then I will choose, I will say YouTube. Now, I'm not going to start today. I want to start tomorrow. And then I want to finish, let's just say on the 11th, and I will tap done. And now when I come over here to my upcoming task, as you can see, review taskful shows up right here and on the bottom. So there I can go ahead and review taskful. I can come back over here and look, and if I just want to view my YouTube upcoming task, there goes my YouTube ones. If I want to review my uh, work task, here comes my work reviews. And then if I want to review my to-dos, and those are my views. Now, one thing about this, you cannot change categories or add categories. And what I mean by that, yes, you can change the names of those, but you can't like delete them. Like there's no way to like delete it. It's just rename. That's the only option. So that's like where the minimalistic part comes in. There's not a lot to think about it. Now, I do want to mention one thing. Let me tap right here. 
on the plus symbol to create a new task. So on the iPhone is a really cool feature. So if I were to start today and I was just going and I was going to say walk, uh, let's go with whoops, ten thousand steps. Now on the iPhone, you can actually track your steps and it'll do it automatically. You don't have to like go into the iPhone and be like, hey, start you know tracking the steps that I'm taking while I'm walking this track at the park. Um, it'll just automatically do it once you put it in there and it'll track your steps throughout the day for you to see if you achieve your goal. So that's the smart part of, of Taskful. If you're going to do stuff like this, it'll just do it automatically. Of course, you have to give the application permission to send you reminders and uh, health kit, you know, all this stuff. You want to you want to allow it to access that data. Of course, you're going to have to give it permission for that, which is not relevant on the iPad which is where I use Taskful, but it is really neat on the iPhone as well. And there are other features like that with inside the application. Uh, my best recommendation is go ahead and check it out. If you want a beautiful, minimalistic to-do app on your iOS device, this is definitely the one that you want to check out. You know, what makes Taskful simple and beautiful is there's not much to think about. I mean, you basically, if you want dark mode or light mode, and then you just set up your task or your to-do, and, and that's it. Like if you look at the reminders application on the iPhone or even on the iPad, you have to like type a name, you have to like tap this little button and go in like edit stuff, just not very well thought out. Whereas Taskful, it just simplifies the application and how you use it. It's more or less just like, hey, tap this one plus symbol right here, decide whether you want a reminder, a to-do, you know, or a task, and that's basically it. And then the only setting that you have in there is just like, hey, do you want light or dark mode? And then like the type of reminder, category, the type of sorting, like reminder or category. And that's why I really like Taskful. It's the task manager that I use on my iPad. I've had it on my iPad now for about a week or so, and uh, that's what I've been using like so anyway if you have any questions or comments about Taskful feel free to leave that below as I mentioned in the beginning of the video I will have a link in the description if you're interested in checking it out as I mentioned it is only $1.99 well worth the two bucks not only to support the developer but you're also going to get a fantastic application for your iPhone or iPad thank you for watching have a great day peace Boy, is get him to destroy himself.